Okay, so finally I found this place. It's in San Microsystem Oracle's uh, headquarter and um, the building behind me and some further as we go through we will see it. It's um, so eerie, it's so strange that feeling that um, yeah it's very strange. I do not know very much yet and as the story unfold as my visit keeps on we may get a better idea of this place this is called Agnew's um, Insane Asimlon so it's a mental hospital one of the earliest California mental hospital it started at the beginning of uh, the century 1905 around that time it's one of the biggest uh, facility and uh, you can see it is quite uh, very well designed but now it becomes a big uh, international hugest uh, one of the big international huge um, cooperation it changed a lot of its uh, spirit I feel so here I am at the visitor center and uh, to look through the whole history of this place so in 1885 California legislature established the California hospital for the chronic insane so that was the starting of the hospital and uh, the philosophy was all hospitals for the insane should be made as home-like and attractive as possible so at the beginning stage of this hospital this is uh, <clears throat> the beginning of stage of the hospital it's such a, a beautiful building and uh, <laughs> again beautiful it's a, such a, a big tall and a solemn building but uh, it was destroyed uh, in the 1906 earthquake and uh, we can see some picture of the earthquake hmm? where is the earthquake picture let me find the earthquake picture So, this is one of the earthquake picture and the building was totally damaged. So, at that time the superintendent, Mr. Leonard Stocking, he decided to take this opportunity and uh, rebuild the hospital with, uh, yeah, this is the earthquake. You can see the earthquake here. It's totally damaged and the people died, 106 uh, patients and uh, 11 staff has, uh, has died because of, uh, because of the earthquake. So they rebuilt the earthquake and uh, and the superintendent, Leonard Stocking, believed in both work and play was therapeutic, therapeutic. So he redesigned from that tall building into the present day much lower building, the treatment center. Let's take a look at the new building. This is a new building. You can see it's much uh, lower and only one tower, but majority of it is low rise with a lot of sunshine, a lot of space. You can see very spacious comparing with the old building. And uh, they promote um, they promote the philosophy to put 
people mentally ill or mentally challenged, develop developmental dis disabled people, to treat them, and at the aim of putting them back to the society, so they have hope in their life. So they made these、um, factories, some bakeries, and people use their ability to walk. In the baker, in the bakery, in the canning factory, and、uh, this is the hydro therapy、uh, treatment, which is much more、uh, human than the previous treatment. And there were、uh, farms, bully chicken, chicken farms, and there are farms for pig and、um, and the crops, and then. In 1950 something, there was a big flood, so this place was totally damaged. Let's see the flood. 1952, flood damaged everything, and、uh, this place at the peak had housed 4,000 patients.、Uh -huh. Let's see the development. And Agnew established the first program for individual with developmental disability, with the transfer of、uh, 534 individual from other facility. So they have the developmental center to to put people back to the society, and because.、Um, Because of the development of this area, so West Campus declared surplus as many residents return to the community, and the remaining move to East Campus. There are two campuses, and then in 1996, Sun Microsystem bought this land, and.、Uh, <coughs> And they built this. Uh, uh, they dedicated. They rebuilt, renew this building, and dedicated to education and employment. And now on the other side, there is this river mark, shopping center, and、um, I have been there. It's very interesting, very well developed, but.、Um, I just feel a little bit strange. Anyway, this is the history of this place. So here is the hospital, and this is the presidency. I think this is、uh, the hospital head of hospitals、uh, residency, maybe. The old styled building, and one thing some microsystem has done good is that they really restored this、uh, place and uh, made it uh, look uh, look、um, the old glory. Glory is not the right word. The old grace, a gracious. Place taking care of、uh, mentally ill people. And this place now became、uh, their corporate.、Um, it I think it belongs to. To Sun Microsystem, and they are doing a good thing. They are doing a favor to the world by opening it up and allow people to visit. I think you can only come on Friday, as I remember. So today is Friday. Superintendents' residence. Yes. Agnew State Hospital erected 
1915, California State Architectural Department, George Salem State Architect. The superintendent's residence is a blend of arts and crafts and the prairie school style popularized by Frank Lloyd Wright. Ooh. Arts and crafts features include exposed rafter and, and the purline, purlines on the front porch and the pot kosher along with natural and textured material such as the rough stucco wall. Yes. Look at the structure of the wall and the roof, yeah, the structured wall. Half timber, half timbering and knee braces under the eaves. The low horizontal building massing triangular arched window Tri oh, yeah. triangular arched windows triangular arched windows that is triangular arched windows sorry <laughs> residence Okay, let's keep on reading. Arch the windows and the projecting eaves are typical of the prairie school style. The interior features stained wood paneling, geometric pattern and boxed beams, which are also characteristic of this style. The superintendent's residence served as Dr. Leonard Stocking's home from its construction in 1915 until his death in 1931. The prominent foyer, library, and uh, drawing room are typical of large houses of this period, also included in the design are servants' quarter and special overnight quarters for the California state governor who was required to visit the hospital once each year. Okay, and this is the residence of uh, of the superintendent of the hospital. Now let's move on to to the to the hospital. And as I read in the internet, it mentioned that just thinking about that time, it was very humane. The treatment of the of the patients are very in a very respected way and it's roomy it's um, it has uh, a lot of space for them to move around for people to move around it seems very much like so Comparing with this mental hospital, the office building seems like, you know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> but it's all about time. The old time, we had the luxury of space. And the new office building does not have the luxury of space. But anyway, thanks uh, Sun Microsystem to rebuild it. At least we can see the old grace of this place.
there are a lot of things new we can see this is the administration they are totally using it as uh, their office administration agnew agnew state agnew state hospital administration building erected 1905 california state architectural department george serum Seung state architect the administration building is an eclectic blend of architectural style it's smooth stucco building oh yes it's much smoother stucco building with butter buttressed corners oh yeah buttressed corners semicircular arced window semi yeah semicircular arced window brick detailing and the red tile roof are typical of the mediterranean revival style exposed notched rafters and the wooden porch and the balconies were influenced by the arts and crafts movements yeah american arts and crafts movement the good old days popular from the late 18th to the first world war the administration building is significant as an integral component of the post Okay, my camera has some problem, but uh, I will do another one now. I am doing the following one instead of uh, the shaky one. So you can see the architecture, the arched, the semi uh, semicircle arch of the window, and a much smoother surface and uh, it's such a beautiful elegant and functional design and this is particularly for the beginning of 20th century 1900 before the war before the first world war and there is an arts and craft movement and um, and the arts and craft movement art deco design was uh, very much a big thing in American um, architect and industrial design. The search and uh, the pursuit for functionality, for simplicity, simplicity and um, efficiency and elegance and grace and, um, and purity is, uh, is such a big art trend and the art scene. Okay, let's go approach and I think this is the main hospital. What a, a magnificent, graceful and, uh, and elegant design. Just uh, just uh, to the point and right it feels graceful feels solemn and feels powerful but still there is something there is beauty in it it's uh, cold but not cold cold as uh, the current building if you see the surrounding new architect of uh, of um, of the office building you will feel what is coldness and there is this uh, distance elegance and uh, nonchalance that is not the right word there is this um, there is this solid and uh, and weight in this building you feel 
Oh, solid. You feel that you are on ground zero. You feel this is a reliable place and it will not fall. And it's a heavy, it's a strong, it stands. Okay, clock tower building. Agnew State Hospital, Clock Tower Building. Historic name, Treatment Building. Okay, Clock Tower Building. This is the Treatment Building. Erected 1908. George C. Yong, State architect in collaboration with Dr. Leonard Stocking, hospital superintendent. Mm. So it must be the, the superintendent told him, oh, we need this treatment building, we need an electric shock building, we need um, a calm down building, we need the reading, and then the architect does the design. The clock tower's prominence as the terminus of Palm Drive conveyed the importance of treatment at the new hospital with its arced window, clay tile roof, buttress wall, and the textured scuttle ink exterior. This Mediterranean revival style landmark was visible from both the hospital grounds and the surrounding community. Centered among the treatment and the residential buildings, the clock tower houses a receiving room for patients, a reception room for visitors, laboratories, laboratories, treatment rooms, and offices. The clock tower's laboratory and uh, therapy facilities played a central role in Dr. Leonard Stocking's belief that a hospital should treat rather than simply confine patients. The treatment techniques administ administered here, such as hydrotherapy and electroshock therapy, were among the most advanced for their time. The Agnews State Hospital Historic District was listed on the National Register of Historic Place in 1997. So patients should be respected, should be treated instead of being confined. That's such a humane way of, uh, of uh, work ethic, such humanity. Developmental Center, built as Agnew State Hospital, 1888 to 1988, a hundred years, placed by order of the Santa Clara City Council by the hospital and landmark, historical and landmark commission. Agnew main buildings, a five-story red brick, Edifice completed in 1888 was known as the Great Asylum for the Insane. The name Agnews came from nearby landowner Abraham Agnew. The 1906 earthquake level the 1888 structures the president the present clock tower and surrounding buildings
designed in Mediterranean revival style were erected in, 18, in 1908 by the state of California. Dr. Leonard Stocking, hospital superintendent, helped design the new facility, served for the mentally ill, stopped in service for the mentally ill stopped in services for the mentally ill mentally ill stopped it in 1972 act news now provides support for developmentally disabled individuals 1988 I can see myself. Oh, this is Oracle Beauty. We cannot get in. I will check if I can visit. It's so beautiful. So I went in. <laughs> Sorry for the airplane. Yeah, a lot of airplane. Okay, so I went in. The nice lady at the reception told me uh, this is a, a private company and only the park belongs to the public. The park is actually par uh, can be visited. I do not know whether it's a, a public or not, but we can visit. And uh, I will go as much as I can and inside it was a beautiful uh, construction but uh, we are not allowed to visit then we will not visit so this is a much smoother uh, textured textured surface oh it's so cool here and this must be some emergency place for people to get up. This must be that. The front door is the entrance. And this might be some important people enter from the side for some secrecy, for some privacy, for some whatever reason. Let's take a look out. We actually can go up, but I will not do that route. It's not respecting. How beautiful this place. How human is this place. For the people who, who suffers some of the most, most suffering. There is no suffering more than the other, but, uh, and this is not, this is beyond the physical pain. And uh, people who has this disease must have been through a lot, and uh, they cannot explain, and uh, they cannot be understood, and they will always live with the misunderstanding of other people. That is so... Oh, such is life. That is so heartbreaking. So from what I see here, the old building they preserved in such a pristine state. These are the hospital. So what we are circling around, including that beautiful building, must be the hospital. And beyond that, there is kind of a fence. Beyond that was uh, the, the Sun Microsystem and the Oracle building. And uh, they are... They are interwoven. I think this is the land of some microsystem, and some made promise to made a promise to preserve this 
this place, then they got the right to develop the surrounding. That I need to check a little bit further. If there is nothing wrong, I will not write anything. If there is anything that I misunderstood, I will definitely correct myself. Here is another gracious building. With balcony, it looks like auditorium. Oh, this is the auditorium. For some hospital event, some uh, spiritual boosters, things like that. How oh, beautiful! Oh, wow. It reminds me of Mill Valley. No, um, not Mill Valley. Um, Sausalito Public Library. Very much. Must be the same period of time. <gasps> what a beautiful auditorium. Sorry, I used too much of beautiful. Okay. From now on, I will not use beautiful. Okay. Uh, Agnew State Hospital Auditorium. Historical name, Assembly Hall. Erected 1914. California State Architectural Department. George C. Young, State Architect. The auditorium is one of the more ornament on ornate ornate mediterranean revival arts and craft style hospital buildings it's grand two-story semi-circular arched and patent brick bonding and uh, reminiscent of designs by the famous chicago architect louis sullivan Louis Sullivan, need to check this uh, gentleman, this architect. Together with other buildings sharing similar design, motif, and materials, it helped to create a cohesive campus design. As one of the leading psychiatrists on the West Coast, Dr. Leonard Stalking agreed with progressive era reformers in the belief that recreation could be used as a tool to shape behavior. In keeping with his mission, the auditorium housed spaces for performances, social gatherings, billiard and music. This building is this building's large and versatile main hall served continuously as the hospital's principal social center until Agnew closed in 1996, oh, so recent, 1996. The Leonard Stocking Museum is now located in two rooms adjacent to the auditorium's entry lobby. Maybe I can see it. Let me check if I can see. This reminds me of um, the movie A Beautiful Mind. Oh, I say beautiful again. A Beautiful Mind about uh, Nash the Equilibrium founder, Nash, John Nash, I think. And uh, he had a schizophrenia and um, he got a electro electroshock treatment and he had been through a lot. I was just thinking, a lot of uh, talented people 
that uh, may have problem and uh, having problem does not stop a person being talented and sometimes people are too talented kind of uh, eccentric I don't think I can enter yeah this no I cannot enter oh this is the auditorium entrance think I can go any further but I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and this visit there are so much to learn about to ponder about our history our um, our story of uh, our humanity and uh, if there is something good keep it Keep the good spirit, keep our humanity. I love you, I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye bye, friends. Okay, to end up this story, I came to the library here and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's a, such a, an unbelievable thing. So this place, uh, some microsystem bought this uh, uh, hospital site in 1996 and we came to America in 19... 97 six or seven and this is a place where i started in america okay so this is the library here i will <laughs> i will show you in front of so since we came to america this place used to be all uh, rice field, corn field, without anything, just uh, just a uh, uh, big farmland. Used to be the Agnews Hospitals farmland, their self-sufficient land. And now there is a shopping center with Safeway, Verizon, GameStop, Pete's, Starbucks, and. Um, and uh, restaurants, um, burger shop, uh, a smash burger with all these shops, and uh, a beautifully designed, very well designed. But uh, thinking about it came out of nowhere, out of nothing. When I first arrived here, I took bicycle and, uh, and uh, biking around here with nothing. And now it's a life. My story will be another video uh, to 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 Hagong to recount. I will tell you my arriving U.S. story in another video. This place, to say the least, 
is inspiring. I love you, I really do. Do 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 do. Bye bye friends. <laughs>